Chapter Winter Leffield time has returned and the disaster has been averted. After the day we escaped from annihilation, winter has already arrived. Look at the heavy snowfall. I stood on the veranda and murmured, perhaps due to the house being located in a secluded valley, the snow was falling heavily. I watched as the once green mountains were now covered in a pure white, breathing out white vapor. This year is passing by safely too, as I observed the snow falling outside the window. I thought about the future. I have come a long way so far. The never-ending journey is gradually showing signs of hope. When I conducted the first terror attack, I wondered if I would even survive until the incident at the Wolfwing Bridge Gate. But now, I can see that day approaching. I managed to hold on until the end of the apocalypse episodes. By the end of this year, I should finish training the punk and start recruiting for the end and regeneration. I continued my thoughts. It's time to seriously consider the world after the dimensional rift was opened at the Wolverim Bridge, and the monsters started to rampage. In the original story, it turned into an extreme situation from that point onward. It was already chaotic, to the extent that one couldn't distinguish whether it was an apocalyptic story or a hero or he story. They said the population decreased by more than half, of course. It's impossible to prevent the dimensional rift from opening. It was set to open sooner or later even without the interference of the Wolverine Bridge incident, however. At least I should make an effort to minimize the damage then. It will be time for the final battle, phew. I exhaled a white breath once again, first. I should start preparing for the upcoming Wolverine Bridge incident. And also, I need to prepare Stardust for the final battle. She is the only one who can prevent the world's destruction. Thinking briefly about the annihilation, my feelings became complicated. Hated. Hated. It's only natural that my head starts spinning when I think that the chaotic situation from the latter part of the original story might become reality after the Wolverine Bridge incident. Deaden, are you finally done watching the snow alone? Come in and have some cocoa. Having seriously contemplated the future, I returned to the living room, where Susan handed me a cup of cocoa. It was warm and sweet, quite delicious, taste is good. It's good, right? I made it, really? Of course, since I'll be a senior in just a few more days, I can make Coco even better than Subin now. She proudly declared, seeming more excited than when she explained the gadget to me. It's probably her way of showing her gratitude, and I find it adorable, and thankful too. I continued to admire the snow for a few more minutes, and Sufian seemed to be in a good mood as her lips curved up. After spending some time together, she suddenly found something funny on her smartphone. Meanwhile, I turned on the two again to watch the news, hoping for something interesting. However, while yawning, I couldn't find anything particularly special in the news. As Sufian giggled and showed me her phone, she handed it over saying, Look at this. When a stick gets tired, Ego stick, ego stick, so funny tin. Ego pronounced in Korea almost like ego, which is a long sight people make when they're tired. Comment share. Hey, hey, what a joke teacher. Why are you writing such posts? Ah, I dislike myself for laughing at this. I press the upvote button because I couldn't resist stop pressing the upvote button without seeing it. Susan, is it funny? Isn't it funny? Ah, ah, ah. It's exhausting ego stick. Ah, ah, ah. Seeing Susan laugh. I couldn't help but smile too. Our Susan still acts like a child. No, wait, is this more like a dad joke? Eh, anyway, I enjoyed watching Susan show me some funny posts from my fan cave while sipping on cocoa. Yeah, this is good. People are all laughing and chatting peacefully. At this time in the original story, there were several terrorist attacks every week, and hundreds of people died, plunging society into chaos. Protests condemning heroes like Stardust and Shadow Walker for their incompetence were happening every day. Of course, Lee Sela managed to dissolve them with her authority. But still, as I peacefully rested in the living room, enjoying the peace, the t suddenly reported Japanese news. And now, let's look at the latest news from Japan. Sue Reporter, do we have breaking news? I finally leaned back on the sofa and turned my gaze towards the two. Japan, oh right. I completely forgot about it while dealing with the end of the world and all. I remembered in the original story, Japan was controlled by a corrupt government, and Samyapa with Katana were fighting daily. The story mentioned that Samyapa would be defeated, leading to Japan's downfall. 
So, I gave Katina a little favor by providing her with information on the traitor. I heard that she was losing every day before but gradually started to win. I wonder if things have improved now. It can't be that she's still losing, right? Oh, I had such thoughts. While absent-mindedly watching the news, I heard some shocking news. Yes. Semyapa are overwhelmingly winning against the Japanese Association. Experts predict that the Japanese Association will collapse within early next year. Wait, what? Why are you collapsing? I was surprised and adjusted my posture to focus more on the news. In response, the International Association was asked for assistance, but they refused. Some believe that the International Association is not intervening due to the corruption of the Japanese government and association. On the other hand, Katina, the leader of Semyapa, has expressed that even if they win, they will allow the association to exist and not defy the world order I'm startled. I looked at the two with a slightly dazed expression. Seriously, just because one traitor was dealt with, the situation flipped like this. In the original story, Semyapa are getting beaten up every day, and now they are winning. Hmm, well, I guess it's a good thing. I don't know. I had thought that the situation would remain chaotic for quite a while, and I never imagined that Semyapa would reach a point where they could defeat the association just with that one piece of information I gave them. Yeah, it would be best if Katina remembers my favor and doesn't forget about me. The villain conference. Cathedral is going to be held soon, so I might meet her then. With those thoughts in mind, I made some plans. Before that, though, I should at least prepare for the chaotic situation after the Wolgwengyu and meet our PUF members. Great, you've improved a lot from before. At the training room in the underground headquarters of the Pink Yusung squad, I watched over the training performance of our PUF members. Half, it's nothing. I'm still lacking. She modestly responded to my praise. But her lips curved up slightly. That's no. Yellow. She possesses the ability to shoot arrows of light, and her skills have improved significantly compared to before. Her bow accuracy, as well as the power of the light arrows, have grown considerably. Now she's almost at the level of the early Stardust. Of course, early Stardust was much weaker than the current powerful Stardust, but considering she was just in a class back then, Yellow's growth is quite remarkable, that's partly because of the ongoing power inflation and also considering the fact that she's using the ore I worked hard to find. By the way, talking about Stardust, I wonder what she's up to these days, is she still catching villains? I should check my fan cave or organize information when I get home. Wait, why am I thinking about that now? Let's focus on our pink members for now, as I brushed away such thoughts. I turned my attention to each member again. Arno. Red, who wields fiery punches as her main ability and swings a great sword, has also grown significantly stronger. When she fights against the special training robots made by Susan, her judgment and attack power are incomparable top four. Haga, did I do well? She asked with a big smile. Yep, you did well. And Blue, no? Blue has also become quite strong. Although the soap bubbles she creates are still weak in and of themselves, it doesn't matter since Blue's true value shines when she's together with others. When she's with her team members, they become stronger. Anyway, after looking at all three of them, I decided to test the skills of our pink snow. Oh, oh, oh. Who was observing the most attentively? Hi, who? Whoosh, thump. He soared like a storm and swung his sword like lightning. His tied back gray hair fluttered and he swung the sword through the air with the intensity of a man. It was truly a manly attack. After defeating the enemies in the shortest time among the members, he looked up at me, gasping for breath. I nodded my head at him, indeed. Among the pink members, has the real deal. After the training was over, I gathered the members and praised them. Great job, everyone. And I can see how hard you've trained. Let's keep it up. I meant it, you guys need to get stronger soon so that you can teach the new generation. That's what the Hero Automation Factory is all about. This generation trains the end, and then trains the it to create copies of Pimp Elites. That was my plan. Anyway, as I saw them beaming with pride from my compliments, I decided to bond with them today. Yeah. It'll talk about the mindset and spirit of heroes, using Stardust as an example. I write. 
It's time for some education. At that night, after Dagen left, at the Pink Dormitory, all the four members gathered in the room and sat there, yawning. Naturally, the topic of their conversation revolved around Dagen. They casually talked about the praise no, and no, received and how no, told them not to relax but work even harder, and no, was there, dozing off. As they continued their conversation, it naturally drifted towards discussing heroes. Hey, let's watch that. At the video of Stardust fighting the dragon from last time, should we? Uh, they naturally shifted the topic to combat and real battles, focusing on Stardust, the strongest hero in Korea who is always praised by Dagon, especially today. He had a slightly sentimental expression as he praised Stardust even more. Anyway, thanks to Dagon's cramming thought education, they naturally looked up to Stardust as their ideal and goal for them. Watching Stardust combat footage was not a stretch, whoa, amazing how did she move like that and face the dragon, Egostic, who brought that with him, is also incredible, so incredible. They were in awe as they watched the footage, while observing Egostic on the screen with his back against the wall. No, suddenly realized something strange, wait, that man the more he watched, the more he felt a familiar sensation, 